Hello, in this video I am going to show you the hotkeys and save states for DuckStation. So this obviously assumes that you've set up DuckStation. I will provide two videos on how to set it up. One will be the direct method and that method you does not use EMU deck. So if you don't want to go down the sort of EMU deck route, you can follow that video video and then the the easier one the emu deck version i will link as well so you can go ahead and use that so first of all i will not be doing this on emulation station for the simple reason because i'll be doing controller configuration when i do controller configurations they all you know apply to emulation station and then you know you need to have different ones for different emulators and maybe even different games so i'm going to apply just for duck station but I guess you could apply for emulation station as well. So let me focus in. Go to dock station. Here, you want to go to controller first. And you want to go to the layout. You want to go to community layout. And you want to find this one by Juggernaut. Juggernaut, I guess the, he's trying to be cool and put a juggernaut okay duck station ps1 with analog mouse achievements and leaderboards this is the one that i find that works really really well and it uses the left trackpad to be able to access a lot of the hot keys there are other ones out there you know as you can see feel free to try them out this is the one i prefer and yeah if you can't find it you can obviously just go to the search as well okie dokie so now yeah I'm going to go back once you set that and the rest of it is I'm leaving as default you can enable back grip buttons and that will allow you to you know map more controls if you want it feel free to but it's not necessary and go to play and from here I'll click resume this will just resume Chris fair enough strange go press bandicoot so okay i'm gonna go to load state okay now let me explain what's happening i'm gonna turn the volume down and i'm gonna move it over a bit so you can see the left trackpad i'm not clicking on the trackpad i'm just putting my finger on it because remember it detects when your finger is on it if i just put my finger on it this menu comes up middle button is pause you can just do a single tap and you will pause and if you want to play it you can do it like so the save states and load states are here you have to hold them to actually activate them so if i do a single click click nothing happens but if i keep it pressed and then let go save state and now if let's say i go forward a bit oopsie daisy oopsie daisy now i want a load state and let's say you go here hover over load state keep it pressed let go keep it pressed till i hear are you leave because i i feel an extra vibration that's when i let go let's see if i can let go of it it's at the vibration point really so hold for a second or two okay so the next two that i want to cover is the previous and next law this you know does pertain to save states so if i click that you can't do a single click even though it doesn't tell you to hold you have to hold it if i hold it you can just you know go to the next slot the previous slot like so and then, then you just let go and you automatically you know select that particular slot after a couple of seconds now the next one is swap disc and if i give it press nothing happens because crash bandicoot is not a multi-disc game there are multi-disc games i believe some of the final fantasy ones are and and I, th and I think there was a Star Wars game. I'm trying to think. Rogue Squadron? No. Whatever it was. I can't remember. It, actually, I think I might be think, mixing it with a different console. What, whatever. If you do have a multi-disc game. And you obviously you got all the discs there next to each other. This is how you would do it. You can fast forward. And again, you have to keep it pressed. Keep it pressed. It will just keep fast forwarding. And that will be include you as the character as well. Because it's just... Ooh, Jesus. That is fast. And if we keep it pressed again, there we go. And if you've got, you know, achievements and leaderboards hooked up like retroachievements.org, you can tap and double tap this as well. Now, the final section is the quick menu. So if I keep that pressed, let go. From here, you can 
activate a lot of those let me focus in a lot of those commands as well like toggle fast forward load save state this is one of the, my, my preferred ways of doing it you go to a cheat list and there's a lot of cheats here and it picks them up really well one thing i do find if you press the back button it takes you off so you have to you know keep going back on it so if you want to do a couple of things it can get a bit annoying you can toggle analog game properties again if you've set up achievements with retro achievements dog this will be there as well save screenshot chain disc if they're the you know the disc applicable multi-disc game and then you know close game if you want to that which is really useful now in settings what we can do is i mean you can you know do a bunch of things maybe you want to go in here you want to let's say change the you know fast forward speed and the turbo speed feel free to do that here and imagine if you want to mess around with the graphics and you want to you know change the channel resolution you want to add some post processing you can do that all right here or you can go in and change the controls select a, a button you know with a and then you know press the new button and it will configure or you can use the keyboard and mouse as well and obviously achievements memory cards obviously memory cards i'm going to leave as is and in the achievements you will just log in down here to retroachievements.org Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is if you go to emulation settings, you can do enable rewinding. And the enable rewinding will, as the name suggests, allow you to rewind. So let's have a look at this. Feel free to mess around with these settings. So this is every 10 seconds and rewind is up to 10 frames. So it's 100 seconds. You'll take up to 110 meg of RAM and 20 meg of VRAM. So it can be a bit of a resource hog. if I can get the Hoo -hoo! still got it okay that should be enough and oh so that's fast forward also another way to fast forward if you press this select button and R2 so this button over here R2 so select an R2 but that's just it's not a toggle as soon as you let it go you'll let, let it go if you press select an L2 now I think I was uh, I was here way too long so now so as you can see I'm able to rewind as well which is a useful function so that is it oh sorry I'll just press select and i ended up going back to the map but obviously you could do a load stage you could do a rewind so that's the hotkeys and probably the thing that you're really excited about either save states and load states in duck station if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in in the description all links for setting up duck station will be there as well see you in the next video if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and bye bye